So we have our QGIS window open showing the boundary of our study site that is Lagos. We will now import the Google satellite imagery and zoom into one of our study sites. In the study site that is in the one of the study site neighborhood, we will assess some of the characteristics of slums. Let us first of all assess the neighborhood pattern. Looking at the pattern here, we can see that there is no regular pattern of what you expect in a planned neighborhood. Also, if we zoom in further, we can see that the housing pattern also shows a lot of irregularity as well as, as, well as highly densified. We can also see that there is no distinguishable road network in this neighborhood. The three identified elements are some of the characteristics of slums like we discussed in the introductory lecture. Here is another neighborhood in Lagos, our study site. Assessing this neighborhood also, we can see the similarity with the previous neighborhood we assessed. We, we can see that the neighborhood is also um, showing a lot of irregularities. The building pattern is also highly densified without any um, planning standards or sh any regular format you would expect in a non-slum uh, settlement. Furthermore, we can see that there is no distinguishable road network as well in this second neighborhood we are sampling in Lagos. Here is another settlement in our study area Lagos, also having similar characteristics with the previous neighborhood. That is, irregular neighborhood structure, no well-defined road network, highly densified building without distinguishable patterns expected of a planned neighborhood. So now, I will show one or two neighborhoods with all the um, required type, with showing all the designs you expect from a non-slum community settlement. Here is an example of a non-slum neighborhood in Lagos. Looking at this neighborhood, we can see a well-structured neighborhood with de well-defined road networks as well as properly defined housing type. What we can see from the Google Earth image is that without visiting the our, uh, without physically visiting our study site, we can determine the probable um, type of residential neighborhood that we are dealing with by just physically um, investing, physically investigating, I, um, physically having a look at the Google Earth image. Although we can also automatically identify slums from satellite imagery but this is beyond the scope of this mini mock 